Hi, I'm Jake at Gemsport. some really cool stuff with the EcoBoost um, and we've found a lot of new things, a brand new platform. This is probably our like third year really really in use uh, for, the, for the EcoBoost engine. We did our first swap uh, yeah almost three years ago now. We've done um, S chassis, S13, S14. We have you know, E36, E46 pretty well supported. Uh, we've done a couple Fox bodies now, uh, or we're about to wrap up uh, like 350Z, G35, and that fits really well in the 350Z, G35. And then we're diving really deep into um, BRZ, FRS, 86. I kind of tell everybody this, we're, we're not particularly Ford people. It's not like we just love this engine and you know we're diehard about it. We looked at all the facts, we looked at everything that uh, when it comes to a modern engine, or, or even an engine in general, what is like some of the best bang for buck, right? And the EcoBoost was by far the best option. Uh, I mean, you can buy, the engine in Vance's car here was $800 with a turbo and everything. Like, you really can't beat that. If, you know, trying to make 250, 300 horsepower, you can't, you can't beat that, you know? It used to be LS prices were around there and they're not anymore. And the power band is very similar to uh, to an LS or a bigger V8, to where torque comes on immediately. Uh, you can make pretty much as much torque as you want, as early as you want to make it, and it's going to make it right to redline. Um, that's what these things, these engines excel at, getting that turbo up to speed and keeping it there um, for however long you want to do it. And they're really efficient. I mean, it's modern technology. Uh, these guys, I know fuel efficiency isn't at the top of everybody's mind, but like these guys don't go through fuel, <laughs> you know? Right now we do offer uh, some OEM ECU flashing solutions, but these cars really come alive when you are able to use a standalone ECU. And Link is the only company that does this well. I mean, using a Link ECU is about the only way to control these direct injection engines properly in motorsport. There's really no other option, especially for the money. And We've had such good luck using their product that I don't see us going any other route. With their new Voodoo uh, and their DI driver, anything's possible with these engines. The key advantages, especially in 836, is how much room you save up front. Um, it, not only is the engine lighter, but we're pushing everything back. It's probably about four inches. It might even be five inches further back. Um, so you've got all kinds of room and it's a lot. It stay, things stay a lot cooler with creator flow. This engine in stock form, uh, again, stock escape engines, probably in the 260 horsepower, wheel horsepower area. Um, that's just 93 pump gas. Uh, and again, a 150,000 mile junkyard escape engine. So we've had a very similar engine, but uh, with upgraded rods, pistons. Um, Josh's 240 here. Uh, and it was built ready for like 800 horsepower. So uh, one of the heaviest versions of the four-cylinder, fully dressed, weighs just over 300 pounds. Um, so that's with you know everything on it, ready to ready to drop in, even a clutch assembly. Um, they weigh just about like 305, 310 pounds. Um, and then in some of the lighter versions, uh, like a two-liter with smaller turbo, uh, maybe some smaller clutch assembly. Um, you can get them down to, to 250 if you really try, yeah. So between a, like a Jay-Z that was in this car or your standard BMW six cylinder, they're heavy iron blocks. They're upwards of 450, sometimes some of them are 550 pounds, um, and even more. I think one of the Jay-Zs that we weighed was actually closer to 600 pounds. So you're shaving 300 pounds off the front end, which really helps in motorsport. Another thing that the stock ECU does is keeping track of um, how much torque these engines can produce at a really low RPM. And that's one of the killers is it's so efficient and so well designed that 
you can pretty much make as much boost pressure as you want at 1800 RPM. I mean, if we let these things do it, it, it would make 30 pounds of boost at two grand. You have to be careful with that or the rods will come out the side. And one thing that Link ECU does really well is, and even sometimes better than the OEM ECU, is allow you to control that, uh, not only with safeties, but they have a really nice torque model um, that you can use just like OEM fashion. Uh, yeah, one of the next things we really want to focus on is stressing these engines. See how much power they can handle. We 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 haven't we haven't blown anything up yet, and we we keep pushing them really really hard. So we want to get um, a mildly built engine. You know, some some big turbo swaps where uh, we're shooting for those bigger numbers, like seven or eight hundred horsepower, and see how they last on the track. I mean, people have done it um, in like EcoBoost Mustangs and in the stock form. But are they really pushing them? Are they hot lapping their car? Um, that's what we want to find out. We want to make sure that these things are actually, they actually have room to grow. So yes, it's a reasonable swap if your target's only 300 horsepower, but is it actually a contender for, you know, competing with your expensive Jay-Zs and SRs up at seven, 800, 900 horsepower? There's a lot of really good information on our website, uh, gem-sport.com and we're building a pretty massive frequently asked questions page. Uh, we just launched it, we're still adding to it like crazy. There's all kinds of good info in there. Uh, so you guys have any questions, uh, anything that you want to understand better, I mean, always feel free to reach out, but there's a lot of info on our website. It'll answer a lot of your questions.